I'm Mark Etheridge and I'm curator for LGBTQ history at Amgedfa Cymru in Wales. As part of this role, I've been working on building up this collection to cover all aspects of LGBTQ history and make sure it is representative of all LGBTQ communities in Wales. February each year is LGBT History Month, with events happening throughout Wales. Amgedfa Cymru was no exception, with lots happening over the month. To raise awareness of the collection, I wrote a blog post on collecting LGBTQ histories. This has been published on the main Senedd website, with images of objects from the collection used on their social media channels to further raise awareness of the importance of LGBTQ visibility during LGBT History Month. We commissioned a blog post by Vish, founder of Glitter Cymru, on its support to the ethnic minority LGBTQ community and the importance of donating their banner. This was published on the museum website and included a video that Vish made as the introduction to Glitter Cymru Virtual Pride. The video has now been donated to Amgedfa Cymru and forms part of the audiovisual archive there, along with oral histories from other members of Glitter Cymru. Amgedfa Cymru launched during LGBT History Month a competition to create queer postcards inspired by the museum's collections, with artists also writing a message saying why they chose that object and what it means to them. These postcards will then be shared in digital and print format to celebrate LGBTQ collections, communities and histories. A series of tweets from Amgeva Cymru went out each Tuesday throughout February, highlighting four areas represented in the LGBTQ collection. These are activism, such as protests against Section 28, pride events, highlighting events such as the first Vale of Glamorgan Pride, LGBTQ venues, highlighting gay venues such as the King's Cross pub in Cardiff, and icons, such as the Ladies of Llangollen. We are currently actively collecting LGBTQ history, and so these tweets also included a call-out for people to get in touch if they have objects to donate. We would love to hear from anyone who might have an object to donate or a story to tell that would help ensure that our LGBTQ history isn't lost but preserved for future generations. 